Well, it's Saturday morning. Good morning, everyone. And Mr. Puffball here, as usually what he does every morning is he puffs out. But oddly, one of the ladies doesn't like it when he puffs out. In fact, watch this. Isn't that the weirdest thing? It's just her. I don't know why. There's another female there. She doesn't seem to be bothered by him. But she only seems to do it when he's in a defensive stance against one of us. Uh, myself, Danielle, the kids, whoever. Because he's still kind of a jerk. So he'll puff out and sidestep you a little bit. Um... And uh, when he was first coming of age or maturity, he was a real problem because he would literally attack you with his uh, wings. And now that he does that, if she's around, she will... I don't know if she thinks that he's uh, threatening her, but it's really kind of funny seeing a female all puffed out like the male usually is. So it's kind of strange indeed. Um, <clears throat> these are bourbon reds, by the way. Oh, there's a cat. Trying to find a mouse. But this will go on for a while, basically. And they'll just chase each other around. Well, she'll chase him around. So, kind of weird. Don't know what the deal is with it. But, this, <laughs> this happens a lot. Here's the two plumpers that I was talking about. We call them plumpers because they're very big birds. Um, they're they're just they've got a lot of heft to them, which is probably why they're meat birds. Um, but these are the birds we got. I think eight of them to start. We lost a few to raccoons. Um, there are a few that went missing, assuming raccoons. And uh, these two here are the ones that. Um, we have left, so that's Mango hitting the door since he doesn't seem to have learned his lesson. Um, but anyway, I don't know if that one's a rooster there that's got the the nice um, face there. I'm not real sure, but I don't even know if they lay eggs. But these are the ones that are supposed to be slaughtered at 12 or 16 weeks, and these guys are going on seven months now, and they're still fine. And he's, he's being as jerk as usual. But you can, at least I can, you can walk right up to him and he, he knows who's boss. So he's not going to try anything stupid, but he just likes to stand off against you. If I walk away, he'll follow right behind me, like so. See, if I back up, then he'll follow He's really kind of mean, um, but he doesn't hurt, you know, at the very first time he would flap his wings on you and you might get smacked in the arm or something, but he's too stupid to full on try attack you. But if the ladies were around, he wouldn't be doing this. So at any rate, checked on Mango. He's doing, he's doing a lot better. There he is right there. He's doing better, and he just peed all over himself, so his eye's a little bit red, but you can see he's kind of irritated, but he's doing a lot better than he was yesterday. They're enjoying their hay that I gave them. Get back. 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 Oh, oh. You made her mad.
Oh, you made her mad. Oh, she's going to get you. Yeah, she's going to get you. That's what you get. She definitely runs the roost. There's no doubt about that. So anyway, <clears throat> I was uh, talking to my neighbor across the way. It would be so handy to have an overhead. You know how people have a garage and they've got rafters and they attach chains and stuff like that. It'd be real awesome to have something like that inside this barn so that I could work on this tractor with these heavy parts and be able to hoist things up and et cetera, et cetera. So I've got these two steel I-beams that run the width of the barn. They run all the way down the galley. Two steel I-beams here. And we're not really sure why these two steel I-beams were put here. Um, because they're the only two that are in this entire barn. The rest of it's wood. So uh, my neighbor and I were staying here talking about this. And we thought that it might be possible. He has access to cheap I-beams. Um, or he has a friend who has access to that. And we thought about getting some kind of a trolley system going where we could basically take an I-beam and run it from side to side, but have it attached at trolleys so that this kind of acts as the track here. And that way I could roll back and forth, obviously as far as the door was would go, but it would still give me an opportunity to have some overhead here where I could attach a chain or a lift or something else like that to be able to grab some of these heavy parts and hold them or suspend them. And uh, so, you know, him and I were talking about that, and I don't know if that's even possible. It would have to be something strong enough to be able to span 20 feet. So this is about 20 feet from end to end. So it had to be strong enough to be able to suspend 20 feet. So it had to be an I-beam pretty strong, as well as the... Uh, the casters or the um, you know the the track mechanism would um, also have to be strong enough to be able to hold that kind of weight with that kind of span. Uh, so I'm not real sure. And then there was also the idea that um, I could run some kind of system here. So look at all of these two by twelves. Um, there's a crap ton of two by twelves that support the upper floor. And they get their support from, uh, I believe they're eight by eights. Um, it's this size right here. Is this a six by six? This is uh, like a, uh, well, this looks like a six by six here. But um, they run, you can see there's another one right there. That's what supports this entire run going across. And there's multiple ones. You can see there's one right here. There's one right here. Um, they run, you know, there's, there must be at least a dozen supporting this, uh, this whole structure up here, this roof. So thought about having some kind of a, a trolley track or something run the length of this. And then um, I would be able to have a system that would run the entire length of this galley. Very handy. Um, you know, I'm a good neighbor. I, uh, I like to, let's zoom out a little bit. I like to share, uh, the stuff that we have and my neighbor across the way doesn't have a barn, unfortunately. So if his tractor ever breaks down, he has to repair it in whatever conditions are outside. And I would love for him to be able to borrow this, in, you know, in the winter time, if he needs a repair or something like that, just drive the tractor in here and work on it in the comfort of a sheltered space with that's well lit so um and this is something that you know we would use for other stuff this isn't just a, a tractor uh thing this we could use for other stuff as well so i was looking at that trying to figure out if there was a way to do that he seems to have access to i-beams for a reasonable price um so I don't think that's going to be an issue where it's going to cost thousands to get an I-beam in here. Um, but the trolley system is what I'm really curious about. Uh, now, in the the upper loft, and I can actually show you here real quick. So this is the upper loft here. Um, believe it or not, we've had three 30-yard dumpsters for this, and we still have a ways to go. Not all of it's junk, but most of it's junk. Um, but
But uh, whoever built this was thinking about getting what I assume hay to this upper area. There's a couple of trap doors. So there's actually this lift system here, which currently does not work. But uh, the reason it doesn't work is because the cable is not attached to the, uh, whatever they call that, cylinder or something, the, the part that rotates to wind it up or unwind it. Um, but uh, so this was actually obviously here with, with the barn and it runs the entire length of the barn to the very end and then extends out I'd say about 12 feet or so so that you can obviously lift stuff up here some heavy stuff I assume that um, I don't know if this is a fertilizer or whatever this is here um, whatever's left over did not get taken during the auction before we even knew this place was available and there's some furniture and the guy was kind of weird that had this place beforehand. I mean, he honestly was kind of weird. Um, but, uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't mind having something like this. You know what? Something that I could have a lift that I could run across, but I honestly don't know how much weight um, this thing can support. This is, the main galley is actually underneath this section right here. And... Um, these, you can see, these are the individual 2x12s that you can see from down there. The tractor is actually right there. So, um, we've got some cleaning up still to do. I mean, this is a slow process. There's a lot, a lot of garbage here. And I do mean a lot. And we've gotten rid of a lot of it, kept the good stuff. He had a lot of great gate hardware and so on that's, uh, that was left behind and, there's some other things that we find useful, but um, at any rate. <clears throat> uh, so I don't know how much weight this whole system could actually handle or hold. This is basically what would be holding it. And again, I don't know what his plans were for this. I don't know what... The guy that built it, I don't know if he designed it or, or what the deal is, but uh, I'm not really sure why this particular section here, I don't know if this is just a normal design, why this particular section here uh, is, you know, kind of uh, raised like this. I, I don't know if he just wanted a taller ceiling from below. I'm not real sure exactly, but uh, the entire, this entire structure here is supported by those steel I-beams, so I'm not real sure, but anyways... Um, so let's go back downstairs. This is just a small, <laughs> small section of hay that we have. Thanks to, um, one of my neighbors, also one of my subscribers, Darren, provided us with about 60 bales of hay, I think it was. So we're set for this winter for sure. We stacked it up here and the goats like to ram these doors and one of them was not latched. And uh, they decided to ram the door and knock some of it over. So, whatever. It is what it is. And I'm completely redoing this whole thing. Um, that's for my cameras here on the barn. Completely redoing this whole thing because it's an absolute mess. You can see it's a mess. Whoever wired it wasn't really thinking. <laughs> they, they just weren't. It's, it's a terrible mess. And I've been slowly rebuilding it adding light switches, adding power outlets because there were none, and uh, those kind of things. So slowly but surely getting to the point where this will actually pass inspection, if, it, if that even matters. Look at him. He's still puffed out. He thinks he's a hot shot or big shot. Huh. I heard the cat somewhere. Oh, there she is right there. Enjoying the weather. It's going to be another hot and humid day. So, at any rate, that's what I was trying to figure out, is if it was possible. I don't really care. 
I mean, I would like to be able to have this extend all the way across, but the doors are obviously in the way, so that's not going to happen. Um, but even if it's just this section here, I mean, it's not like we're going to have a semi truck in here and we got to use the entire length. I mean, even if it's an I beam that runs across and is trolleyed in here, that's perfectly acceptable to me. So I'm sure somebody out there has ideas on what could be done. Either have it run through here, almost center. I just don't know if all of these boards here, these two bys, the two by 12s, would be strong enough. I would hate for them to start bowing in the middle and this whole structure here start coming down because there's too much weight on it i'm not sure uh, tension and compression i know are two different things and tension you know if these were compressed they would be able to hold more eh, whatever at any rate so uh, i'm not real sure but anyway i'm going to start getting to work uh, gotta get this tractor start tearing this whole stuff apart get this stuff out and ready and uh yeah i got a lot of work to do so that's what i'm going to be working on here and uh yeah got my day already already filled so fun 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 stuff all right well you guys have a great day and we'll catch you on the next video take care